So for the past uh, 10 years, we've worked on the Shasta River. And the Shasta River is little known, I think, to a lot of people, but it's extremely important to salmon and steelhead in the Klamath Basin. The Shasta River is a unique spring-fed creek, and it's highly productive, and for its size, historically, has produced a huge amount of, of salmon uh, and, and been a huge contribution to the entire Klamath Basin. One reason we think it's important is because it's the last big tributary before you get to Iron Gate Dam. So 190 miles from the ocean, Iron Gate Dam, 185 miles from the ocean, the Shasta River comes in. And these fish in the Shasta River are going to be extremely important stocks of fish to colonize the upper Klamath Basin once we get four dams out of the Klamath River in 2020. This year, 29,000 fish came back, Chinook salmon came back to the, to the Shasta River. Uh, over 300,000 came back to the entire Klamath Basin. About a 10% came to the Shasta River and it was one of the biggest runs we've seen since the 1950s. So that's been remarkable and it's a testament to the increasing improvements that are happening out there. Yes, ocean conditions have been good and yes, uh, commercial and sport fishing were shut down for a couple years while these fish were out there. That all helps, but it also helps that the Shasta River is improving. Barriers have been removed, water quality is improving, and we're starting to see Chinook respond to that. Maybe a little less so the coho salmon. They continue to be a great concern of ours. Their numbers are still low. This fall in November of 2012, we had a pretty good year. We continue to focus on coho salmon and increasing the amount of cold water for those coho salmon juveniles to survive during the summer. That's the limiting factor for them in the Shasta River and that's the focus of a lot of work of, of ours. Bye.